local weather authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. We start you out this afternoon. Things are beautiful out there. A lot of us about 60 to 65 degrees. Notice nothing but sunshine. The clouds still farther out toward the south and west and our cold front, our big game game changer for tomorrow. That's still ways to the west, so we got another nice afternoon on tap. The evening looking just fine. If you want to maybe grill out a little bit by tomorrow morning, you notice the clouds starting to thicken up a little as well. May also see a few light rain showers early in the morning, but this is 8 a.m. The bulk of the heavy stuff still going to be to our west. It's early after 9 or 10 a.m. that we gradually see this becoming a little more widespread, especially in the higher elevations and then gradually moving to the east from there. So whereas lunch outside is a good idea today tomorrow maybe not so much especially as you start to see some of those yellows and oranges some pockets of heavier rain coming in for the afternoon can't rule out a stronger storm or two especially as you head farther east of the blue ridge parkway that would be after about 3 p.m tomorrow after sunset just left with a few scattered showers around as our cold front finally moves through but there you see some colder air up top at first so some of the ski resorts may actually get a little bit of snow tomorrow night heading into Thursday morning. But as far as any potential storm threats, localized flooding a possibility, especially in parts of the area that saw a lot of rain over the course of the weekend. You might have a storm or two east of the parkway that tries to produce some localized wind damage. Otherwise, the severe weather threat is looking pretty low for us. Tomorrow temperatures though are still going to be on the warm side will generally be about 65 to 70 degrees. The new river valley on the cooler side of things as you start to see rain earlier. Notice the farther east you go toward Lynchburg and south side your high temperature near 70 degrees. But after the rain passes, man, the wind is going to pick up big time. Look at the green there. That's your wind speed 15 to 25 miles per hour. Your wind gusts 35 to perhaps 45 miles per hour. This is from midnight Thursday through the middle of the day on Thursday, continuing throughout the afternoon. That's going to blow in some colder air and eventually once the wind calms down, temperatures by good Friday morning bottoming out in the 20s. So hopefully you haven't gotten planting yet because it is still just a little too soon. We do get these cold snaps this time of year. You fast forward to Saturday morning, a lot of us about 25 to 30 degrees once again. Good news is these cold snaps this time of year are very quick. We return to normally scheduled warmth just in time for Easter Sunday. Look at that high pressure to the south. The wind coming in out the west and southwest. That's going to boost temperatures very nicely. So Saturday is going to start out cold, but then we'll make our way into the low to mid 60s area wide. Look at Easter Sunday. You couldn't ask for better weather. You're looking at high temperatures in the upper 60s and lower 70s by then between the rain and storm threat tomorrow. The wind, the cold, and the holiday weekend forecast. We got you covered not just here on air, but on your local weather authority app. Just make sure that you look up WSLS 10 weather in your phone's app store. All right, extended forecast showing that today we're in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees. Maybe not quite as warm tomorrow just because of the rain moving through uh, during a good chunk of the day. Thursday, high temperatures are actually going to happen at midnight. I do think temperatures during the afternoon will mostly be in the low to mid 40s. The wind making it feel colder than that. The wind should die down a little bit by Friday and especially by Saturday, but then eventually the wind blows in our favor for Easter Sunday. We start out chilly for sunrise services, but then by the afternoon you're in the lower 70s and continuing to see warm air, dry weather, sunshine through the early part of next week.